Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm obviously not in my regular filming space, but that's because I am at my friend's house for the week. We're house sitting, watching the house, making sure nobody comes and lifts the house up and takes it somewhere else. And we're keeping a dog company and some fish. And I like this duck right here. I think I'm gonna name it Wilfred. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing our July Boxy Charm unboxing, and I look like a trash bag. Not only because I am a trash bag, but because it's 10:15 at night. So here's our little card that we got. The theme of this month's box is road tripping, and then when it folds down, it has all the product information on it. You guys know these are my favorite kinds of cards. I like these so much better than the other ones. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me unbox this box today. If you don't know, I like to unbox it first on my Instagram story. And that's when I get to like be excited and see all the initial products and stuff. But then I film my video and I show you me using them on my face. So if you guys want to see me use the July 2018 box on my face and see what goodies I got and what I think about them, then just keep watching. Okay, so one of the things that we got this month is a brow product, which is why my brows are naked. And I'm going to go ahead and use this right now. This is the Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. It's what it looks like. And this product retails for... 26 doll hairs. It's like a dad joke. So when you pull the cap off, you have a little brush. It's kind of thick. I think it's it's a little bit thick. We'll see how it works. And then you untwist the bottom and in here is like a little pomade. Pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on our eyes. Let me grab a mirror real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna use this little ColourPop mirror. I'm just gonna dip my brush in here. The thing that I don't like about this is that normally when I use the pomade, I like to wipe the excess off on the inside, but you can't do that, obviously. And there's no spoolie. Let's get a spoolie. So I'm just brushing through my brows with my brow gal brow thing. And I'm going to try and use this brush, but if it doesn't work, I'm going to try a different brush. Here we go. It's like a pretty good color, but I don't know, like it, it's taupe, taupe, top. It says it's taupe, but it looks moy brown. I like it, I'm glad that it's brown because my hair is very dark, but I don't know that I would call it like a taupe. Okay, so I don't think that the brow product is bad. It actually applied really, really nice to the brows, but it is just a tiny bit dark. Like, it's darker than I normally do my brows, I feel like. And the brush, surprisingly, is not that hard to work with. Like, even though it is super thick in comparison to other pomade brushes, it's not, like, an issue, I don't think. I don't personally feel that it, like, got everywhere. It worked really well and it was very, very easy, but again, like I said, it is just a tiny bit of a like dark formula, which doesn't make sense to me because it's taupe. It's taupe. The next item in the box is the Crown Brushes Fuego Eyeshadow Collection. And this palette retails for $29.99. The pans are actually pretty big. Let me compare them for you. This right here is the ColourPop Mar palette, and this is the Crown palette. But you can see these pans are like giant compared to these guys. So, yeah. So these colors don't really have names, so I'm just gonna go ahead and point to them. I'm gonna speed this part up, and I will let you know how the shades blended once they is on my eyelids.
so the eyeshadow look actually came out really really pretty I love this metallic copper shade that is this color right here I feel like the matte shades they blended really easily and really well but I kind of feel like they almost blended too easily like when I put this burgundy color on my eyelid I kind of felt like it didn't really look burgundy I didn't get that like purpley reddish tint to it that I was hoping for but that being said it is a really really nice palette and the metallics feel pretty nice the ones that i used i used this one right here which i swatched on my instagram story and it didn't really show up well but it worked really nicely in my inner corners and i used this metallic right here this beautiful copper shade did not use any fix plus or anything so i mean i'm not unhappy with easy look i don't know if i'm gonna hold on to this palette i scratched my face just now that hurt i don't know if i'm gonna keep this palette or not because it's like a nice palette but do i need it do i need this palette that i have already from a bunch of different brands in my life still i'm not sure we'll talk about it at the end of the video let's move on the next product that we got in our box is the wander beauty unlashed volume and curl mascara so this product retails for $24 and it says it's an award-winning black and intensely glossy mascara that will bring your lashes to new heights, literally. The unlashed mascara volumizes, lengthens, strengthens, and conditions your lashes while using a combination of gentle ingredients. So we're going to see how this works. Where's my eyelash curler? I'm going to curl my little dead wispy pieces of grass. So I'm just going to curl my lashes real quick and now we are going to test out this mascara. I've never actually had a mascara that comes in like a little tubey like this so that's interesting. Okay so I feel like it's a nice mascara but it didn't make my eyelashes like super thick. Or like like I don't look like I have a lot of eyelashes so I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna go in and give it another coat and we will see if it's buildable buildable mascara and the next item in our box is the dr. brand needles no more no more baggage eye depuffing gel okay so this guy retails for $42 and here's what it says Say goodbye to Puffy and say hello to youthful, rested looking eyes with Dr. Brandt's No More Baggage ID Puffing Gel. Formulated with biomimetic technology. Biomimetic, I've never heard that word before. A peptides and botanical extracts, you're guaranteed visibly reduced under eye bags and dark circles. So the problem with this product is I don't have under eye bags or dark circles, but I'm gonna put it on anyway because you know we're doing we're doing a boxy charm video but i probably will give this away to somebody if they need it if they need it in their life this says after your eye moisturizer warm a tiny amount between fingers and gently pat directly on bags and dark circles use alone or under makeup for best results let dry in between applications reapply as needed so i'm going to take just a tiny a little bit a little a little bit i'm gonna do what it says and warm it up on my fingers and now i'm gonna tap this under my eyes okay so i actually okay first of all it feels like cold and wet and my finger feels like a tiny bit sticky right now and i feel like i can see it like i can see it here i can see it here but that may very well be because I don't have any dark circles. It's drying. It's almost completely dry now. Like just slightly tacky. So I don't know if the reason that I could kind of see it is because I don't have dark circles. And it doesn't feel like it did anything to me. It doesn't look like it did anything to me. But again, like I said, I don't really struggle with that issue. I struggle with a lot of issues. I got 99 problems, but under eye bags ain't one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of my face makeup on and then we'll be back to try our last product in our Bexy Charm. And I'm back. Okay, so I feel like when I put on concealer and like bronzer, I look like a human again. I don't know. When we're human again, only human again, we'll go waltzing those old one, two, threes. 
So the last item that we got in this month's box is the Note Cosmetics Luminous Silk Compact Blush. Here, this guy retails for $11.99. So it's a nice cheap blush when you open her up. You get a little mirror, the blush, and then the blush lifts. And it has one of these little crappy brushes that nobody in the world likes or uses. However, they're nice to be included in the event that you ever need to like paint a section of your house and you wanna be like really precise because it's nice and small and you have a good place to hold it and stuff, you know? So like when you paint around the white part at the bottom of the floor, this is what you use, okay? Okay, architect. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this is the color that we got. It's a nice pretty peach color. It matches these eyes really, really nicely and this is in the shade Desert Rose. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe E4 brush. This is like my favorite blush brush. I've never used a blush brush that is better than this. We're gonna tap off the excess. Tap it all off. And pop it right on the apples of the cheeks. It's really pretty, but it's also like wicked. <laughs> okay, can you shut up. It's really, really pigmented. That's why you tap it off so hard. Like if you don't tap off your blush like this, you're gonna end up looking like this. <laughs> so we're gonna go and do my hand and dandy beauty blender trick, and just press the product into our skin and soften up the cheeks. So this blush is actually really, really pretty. It like, it's super matte, but it does have a slight luminosity when you put it on your skin. Like I noticed it as soon as I put it on, it did have like a slight, I don't know, like it wasn't a shimmer. It's not a sheen because it's matte, but it's kind of got something dimensional about it that I really, really like and is really, really pretty for blush. When I first saw this, I was super underwhelmed, but I actually like it. And even though it's super, super pigmented for a blush, I'm gonna use it and see if I can make it work. I'm curling the lashes again, and I'm gonna go back in with that mascara and see if we can make this little, little builded, a little building. Bop the build. I never do anything to my lower lash line in BoxyCharm videos, so I'm just gonna put some mascara. It's not that I don't want to do anything, it's just that I completely and totally forget that I have under eyes. I think this is actually a really pretty mascara. Yes, yes. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my look and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the completed look. Let's add up all of the items in our BoxyCharm and see how much this month's box is worth. Okay, so this month's value of the box is $133.98. And if we subtract the price of the box, that means we have $112.98 worth of product that we didn't actually have to pay for. I quickly want to just apologize that I haven't been on my YouTube channel lately. I've been so, so busy. I've had like zero time in my life, this many times in my life. And I lost a bunch of footage of a... I just bit. And I lost a whole bunch of footage of a look that I created using the new ColourPop Solimar palette, which was supposed to go up last week. But... There will be a whole bunch of new videos coming up on my channel very, very soon. So hold tight. We've got some fun stuff coming. I got some new products to review and put on my eyeballs. So, yeah. So, yeah, those are all the products that I got this month. And I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. And make sure that you subscribe to my channel by clicking that button right there. If you want to see my latest video, go ahead and click right there right now. My name is Alexis, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.